I've been getting a lot of emails and comments regarding the triangular arbitrage bot. So in this video, I'll try to answer those questions. One of the most asked question is that the bot doesn't work anymore. Now, this is the link that I shared in the last video where the code is hosted. Now, you can see that it's last updated in July 2021. Now, even though it's updated so long ago, it still works. And I'm surprised most people are saying that it doesn't. So I'll show you how to install and set it up. The first thing to do is install Node.js on your machine. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description box. You can download the version 18 and just keep hitting next and you know do the standard installation and that should be good. After that, you can download the code from here. Just hit this button and download the zip file. Then you can just unzip the file. Then go to this folder and open terminal. The first thing we're going to do is install all the dependencies with the command npm install. It takes one or two minutes for this step to complete. Okay, all the dependencies are installed. Then you can start the bot with the command node index.js. The first thing that the bot does is identify all the arbitrage paths and during this time you won't be able to access the bot. Now, it all depends on your system resources. If you have a really powerful computer, this step should be quick. If not, it might take a little longer, but like I said, it takes one or two minutes for this step to complete. And you should see another log message here. Let's, let's wait for that. Awesome, so the bot is done with identifying paths and you can see there are around 14,500 paths. It took me about a minute, but like I said, it depends on your resources. It might take a little longer, but yeah. After you see this message, you can go to the browser and go to localhost colon 3000. And that's where you can access this tool. As you can see, it shows the best uh, opportunities on the top and out of 14,500, these are the best ones. And you can see the values being updated, so it does work. Yeah, so just have some patience and wait for the dependencies to install and you know, and the bot to identify all the paths and you should be able to access this bot on this URL. The other question that I get asked a lot is if I was able to create an automated trading bot that automatically trades, you know, the opportunities that this bot finds. I couldn't do it because of some issues that I encountered. Let's talk about those issues. The first one is market saturation. So Binance has been around since 2017. So the market is pretty saturated right now and there aren't that many, you know, arbitrage opportunities available. There is a workaround for it. Instead of trying it on Binance, you could try on some new exchange. Uh, and even Bybit, right, when, when they newly launched, they had... Uh, zero trading fees for limit orders so maybe you could try you know implementing something similar on on a new exchange where there is scope for arbitrage opportunities the other issue that i encountered is altcoin arbitrage now some of the opportunities that you find on the ui they start with an altcoin now you know that holding an altcoin is pretty risky right they might lose significant value overnight or you know over a short span so the returns that you get with arbitrage trading may not really justify holding an altcoin long term so it's not that big of an issue you know the solution is you know you could just filter out all the altcoin arbitrage and only focus on the ones that start with stablecoin like busd or usd tether that way you know you're you're minimizing the risk of losing you know uh, the value by holding stable coins the third issue is true price so let me explain what i mean by true price so I just have a sample screenshot of, you know, Bitcoin BTC USDT chart here. So I want to you to focus on all the bids and all the asks. So when you see this row on the UI, the bot is making an assumption that you would execute three market orders in succession at the best bid price and the best ask price. Now, the thing is, it doesn't take quantity into account. So what I mean by that is, so let's say you're trading, you're trying to do arbitrage with just $10, right? So if you're just trading with $10, you might be able to buy, you know, buy the tokens at the best price. But let's say you're trading with $1,000 or $10,000, then you may not be able to get the best price, right? Because, you know, the ask price is just the best price in the order book. And the bid price here is just the best price on the order book. Now, as you increase the quantity, you have to go deeper into the order book to completely fill your lot, right? So, again, this might already be familiar for experienced traders, but I'm taking time to explain it for new traders. So, yeah, so as... So as you go deeper into the ask order book, your average price increases. Similarly, as you go deeper into the bid side of the order book, your sell price decreases. 
So ideally, you know, the bot assumes that you would buy at this price and sell at this price. But as you trade with a bigger quantity, your buy price keep increasing and your sell price keeps decreasing. Because like I said, if you are executing market order, you know, if you're executing buy order, you would have go deep into the ask side of the order book and it increases your average price. Similarly, if you're dumping like thousand dollars worth of tokens, you're selling, you know, thousand dollars worth of tokens, you go deep into the ask side of order book, thereby decreasing your average price. So yeah, your buy price keeps increasing and your sell price keeps decreasing, thereby minimizing your net returns. So yeah, the quantity is inversely proportional to profitability. As you increase the quantity, the more you are deviating from, you know, the identified opportunity. Now the only workaround for that is to take the entire order book into account instead of just taking the best ask price and best bid price while calculating the arbitrage opportunities. So you'd have to write the code in a certain way where you specify the quantity initially, let's say $100 or $1000 and the bot will calculate arbitrage for that particular quantity. That way the results that you see are very close to the real world. Now it's easier said than done because order book data, it changes on a millisecond scale and there are about 2000 100 pairs on Binance Spot Exchange. So to be able to maintain order book data for all those 2000 pairs, it's going to be very computationally expensive. And you need some kind of orchestration like being able to run multiple nodes and distribute the load across the nodes to be able to achieve that. So what I'm trying to say is it significantly increases the code complexity. But yeah, those are the reasons why I couldn't create an automated trading bot. But if you have any suggestions or you know, if you think there is an easier way to solve these issues, just let me know in the comment section and I'll look into it. Thank you.